Hey guys, Movie Fan here. Today I'm going to show you how I made the lower arms. Unfortunately, this is one of the videos where I lost a lot of the pictures while I was working on it because of the computer crash I had, so I'll do the best I can to describe what I did. First, what you do is cut four long pieces of cardboard, long enough to cover your forearm and your hand, but don't go too far where you can't bend your elbow. Cut them to the right size where they fit properly, and duct tape them together. Be sure to cap off one end with a piece of cardboard, because that's where your fist is going to go. Basically, what you'll have is a long rectangular box. Repeat the process to create the other arm. Next, you'll want to create the fists. Unfortunately, when my computer crashed, I lost the images I took when I did this. So for the purpose of demonstration, I redid it by using a Dr. Pepper box. How I did it was I cut some long strips of cardboard and I just shaped them into fingers and a thumb with a hole in the center. Then I got some more cardboard and made the outer part of the hand. And I put it all together and I got a fist. Once you get your fist done, grab your Gorilla Glue and glue it to the end of the box that will become your forearm. And of course, tape it down with gray duct tape. Next, grab a dowel and place it on the side of the box. The idea is you want to use it like a yardstick and measure it. Once you got it measured, cut it. Once you got your dowel cut, place it right on the forearm, draw and cut a circle out of either side, and shove it in there. After you do that, glue it into place. Repeat the process one more time. After that, cover the front and back of the forearm with gray duct tape. Next, grab yourself four big pieces of cardboard. Use your scissors to round off the bottom edges. Next, go to the top, then draw a circle in the center. Cut it off halfway, and be sure to level the top on both sides. This will serve as a guide for later. Repeat the process three more times. Then grab some Gorilla Glue and glue them on the top and bottom of your forearm. Repeat the process two more times. Once the glue is dry, take the top edges on your forearm and curve them right onto the side. And tape them down with black duct tape. Be sure to cover the black duct tape that's on the sides with gray duct tape. When you're done, it should look something like this. Next, grab your black marker and draw the gaps between the fingers. Now you could try to wrap the fingers individually with duct tape when you built it, but I found that to be a little difficult to do, so I just kept it as is. Plus, I needed it to be nice and sturdy for two pieces I'm going to build later. But you can do it however you like. Next, draw and cut out four big circles. Now, they need to be the exact size of the circles that are on your forearms. So whatever object you use to draw them, use that. After you got them cut out, cover them with yellow duct tape. Then cover them with gray duct tape. After you do that, draw a smaller circle in the center. Grab your utility knife and gently cut that circle out. And remove the gray circle in the center. After that, cover the entire thing with black duct tape. And grab something round to cut a circle out of. Now, in order for this to work, you want to get something that's big, but not too big. It's got to be big enough where it covers a good part of the circle that you already cut out. But you don't want to completely cut out the circle. Because the idea is you need the black to go around it so you can hold it down to the forearm. I used a spray can when I did this. What you do is you put the can on the circle and you score it with your utility knife. Peel off the excess black in the center and you should have something that looks like this. When you're ready, grab some Gorilla Glue and put it underneath the circle. Then put it into place and curl the tape over the edges. When you're finished, it should look like this. Be sure to repeat the process three more times. After that, cover the entire top and bottom of the forearms with black duct tape. After that, cover the top and bottom with two long strips of gray duct tape. Be sure to put them side by side, roughly like this. That way it'll be nice and thick. Then cover it with two long pieces of red duct tape, both top and bottom, of course. But don't completely cover all the gray, because you'll want to see a little touch of gray on the forearm. Then grab two strips of yellow duct tape and cover the red. And just like before, you don't want to cover the red completely. You still want to see a narrow strip of red on the top and the bottom. Do the same thing two more times, and there you have your lower arms. Be sure to tune in soon, because next time, we'll be working on the upper arms. But until then, this is Movie Fan, signing off.